Welcome back to Outnumbered. Well, Boston is breaking records with a whopping 108.6 inches of snow this winter. Oh. That's a lot of snow. Lots of school cancellations forcing at least one district in the suburb of Easton to push back the last day of classes to late June. And now the school committee is coming up with a contingency plan for next year. In a unanimous vote, it decided to take three religious holidays off the school calendar, including the Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and the Christian holiday of Good Friday. Parents and kids, they're pretty upset. I believe in keeping the holidays for the Jewish and, and as well as the Catholics, everything that we've built this great nation on. My children wouldn't, wouldn't be going to school on, you know, I'm Jewish and so we celebrate the high holidays. I'd probably be pretty mad and sad. Rachel, this is crazy to me, but I always tell parents, if you don't like something, speak up because parents have the capacity to really shape school policy. Do you think something like this will stick or parent feedback is going to say, hold on a second, this is not going to fly with us? Well, it depends. I mean, I think parent feedback is always really good. I have been to schools where they actually did have kids go to school on Holy Thursday and Good Friday. Oh, my kids go to Catholic school, but there was uh, one goes to public school. I take them out those days anyway. Right. And so maybe if enough parents keep their kids home on those days because to make a statement yeah. they'll just go you know what this is not working mm. but I totally I mean these are religious holidays I agree with that parent that just said that yeah. you know they I think it's they're using the snow day as an excuse <laughs> yeah. and they're kind of testing it out and in the end I think they're gonna see if they can start removing I mean listen we don't even have Christmas concerts in public schools they're called winter holiday concerts mm -hmm. and we're, this is the trend we're on, and parents have to make the difference. Why not just, Representative Duffy, start school a little earlier in the summer? Give three additional days, you know, in that summer vacation and take that out and avoid yeah. angering this religious group or that religious group and let everyone have the religious holiday. Because, Jedi, Dye, that makes too much sense. <laughs> Don't let any good crisis go to waste. And if you want to take religion out of the public square, uh, look at Boston, look at all the snow and say, what a great reason now we can take mm -hmm. these religious holidays out of our school system. It's using the crisis to... Uh, to the liberal benefit. How do you feel about this, Harris, as a mom? You know, it's so interesting. You and I just shared a knowing look together. <laughs> <laughs> Is, why don't they start it earlier? You know, my parents are down in Texas, and yeah. they start kids in school in August. I don't think there is a hotter place than Texas in August, yeah. right? Yeah. So you can't use the weather as an excuse for not scooting up that calendar and maybe cutting summer a little bit shorter. Um, but one of the other things, too, with this is, and you talk about parents getting involved, um, our, and I don't know what this says about what New Jersey thinks about the president, but our calendar was shortened, but they took a chunk out of President's Week uh, instead wow. of a religious yeah. holiday. Mm -hmm. So you have other options mm -hmm. on the calendar, even if you don't start earlier in August, mm -hmm. you can shorten some of those other breaks without disturbing a religious holiday. I don't know if it's ignorance or insensitivity, but those parents should speak up and make somebody smarter and sensitive. I'll bet you it's a lot of teachers and administrators, though, Andrea, that also don't want their summer vacation interrupted. Because once you start the school year, it's like you're in it, you're in that whole school academic environment. But the summer, they want that protected. They plan their vacations ahead of time. I bet you that plays a role in it as well. I think perhaps, but I think the congressman hit the nail on the head. I mean, this is what happens when liberal academic Boston meets ethnic Boston. Mm -hmm. And I would love to be a fly on the wall at that parent-teacher mm -hmm. meeting, yeah. listening to them go off about this because I, I heard Harris before um, we did this segment who's married uh, to a Jewish man say I can't believe it these are some of the highest holidays in yeah, the Jewish faith yeah, and yeah. so it makes sense that they would as you propose Harris take away from President's Day or go a little earlier in the summer or maybe even a Saturday I think we had to go a couple Saturdays when there was a lot of snow in Pennsylvania growing yeah. up yeah. there's other options but they don't want those options I, they would rather take away the religious holidays and by the way New Year's Eve is not a religious holiday so if they wanted to shorten even that up now again it may disturb a vacation yeah but if that's the option then you don't have to touch a absolutely a religious holiday or my Your birthday or my birthday <laughs> 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 it is a holiday oh, in my house. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I, I even dance for her. <laughs> well.